Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through some basic introduction to negotiation of requirements. Guys, we have already discussed about negotiation of requirements. If you want, I'll be revising that first and then we will be coming back here. So, we have already discussed so negotiation. So, negotiation in negotiation, we will be discussing about the financial things guys. Financial and commercial issues. So, basically here you will be asking the client to sort the order in which the requirements are to be done. Like what should be the highest priority one what should be the least priority one like that and you will also discuss about the project like when you are going to submit the project or the budget of the project or any kind of risks what to solve or how to solve if there if there is an occurrence of risk everything will we will be discussing here so negotiation are based on need of ranking and risk ranking so it includes business technology economic time frame and social aspects so everything we will be trying to negotiate guys so after that we will be going through validation validation of requirements so basically validation so this also we discussed in in that lecture only so basically validation of requirements is nothing but whenever the project the requirement phase is completely done the last step or the last second step will be the validation guys so in this step the objective of you of your thing is nothing but you want to sorry you want to check whether the requirements which you are collected in the previous steps are based on the customer's satisfaction or customer's requirements or are there any drawbacks in the collection. So basically validation is 100% mandatory guys because this is the step which says that the project or the requirements which you gathered are related to that project. If they are not matching with the project then what requirements did you take that's a huge mistake right. So that is the reason why validating requirements is really important. So all previously done steps are completed will be, will be just useless and meaningless if it is not validated against the customer requirements or satisfaction. Okay. So it is 100% mandatory to do. Yeah, that's what I have written here. So it's 100% mandatory to validate the requirements before going further as every next step that is nothing but planning, designing, construction and deployment depends on the requirements. Okay. So I hope everyone got some basic idea on requirement validation of requirements and negotiation of requirements. So we are done now with the second unit guys. So till now we discussed the main topic is nothing but we discussed about some principles and we discussed about the negotiation sorry, requirements. How requirement analysis is done. Okay. So in the next unit we are going to start the modeling guys. That is nothing but we will be doing analysis and design modeling in the complete next unit guys. Okay, so the your questions like UML diagrams, how they are drawn, all those questions will be answered in the next unit. Okay, so let us meet in the next unit. Okay, thank you. Thanks for watching.